Traders, I'm not going to continue trading today. I've reached my max loss today with uh, several losers. As you can see here, I've got uh, four losers. And um, NCLA is still riding. I'm down a few hundred, actually more than $1,000 right now. So it looks like I'm going to finish my day somewhere over $16,000 down, which takes me back to red territory for the week. I thought I made it. Uh, <laughs> I fixed everything yesterday, but uh, as it happens, I did not. So several losers, just one amazing winner in beyond uh, beyond my first trade today. And that's crazy. You know, you start up over $5,000 in just a few seconds. Look at beyond. And you, if you really take a look, you should be taking a look at the daily of beyond because it all starts there. But uh, if we start with the intraday, then I love the way it started. Big gap up, came down, reversed. We took it for the long side and it just skyrocketed. And um, Scott took it here for a second trade. It's still looking good. Anyway, beyond is holding. And the reason for that is the daily. Again, take a look at the daily. It's always very, very important. When we took beyond, it was somewhere over here. The expectation was that it's going to move over the highs. The new time highs for beyond. It's looking really fantastic. And this could have been expected then. And um, that's happening, although the market's moving down. So sometimes you've got stocks that are outperforming the market and having a life of their own. Although if you take a look at the way Beyond behaved, it did move with the market. Like uh, when the market was moving down, let me show you once more the intraday here. Uh, when the market was moving down, uh, Beyond was affected from... Uh, Take a look at what happened here. Uh, these are five minute candles, of course, here with the S&P. Beyond did move down a bit. And then uh, when the market moved up a bit, Beyond took it much more seriously and moved to a new high. And again, that's because Beyond is has more buyers than sellers. There's no other way to put it. So Beyond was really my only winner today. Now, the same applies for Apple. Apple also have a beautiful daily, uh, but Apple did not hold with the market. Again, look at Apple here. Amazing daily. This only rarely fails. I mentioned earlier that we have to rewrite uh, the technical analysis books if it fails and it did fail. Although, you know, the day is not over and uh, Apple could return to the highs, but it took me out, definitely took it out, took me out when it moved under the low. So I've got uh, an unpleasant loser in Apple. Well, then I did go short Tesla and Boeing and both of them would have been nicely green right now but both of them moved up a bit more than I could hold like uh, Tesla moved up here took me out shook me out uh, Boeing moved here shook me out I should have had my stops I did have my stops although both of them are now looking just fantastically well also the market kind of played it a bit of a trick on me uh, moving higher a little bit and then in just one candle coming down under the lows. Well, I needed this red candle when I was still short beyond, uh, sorry, Boeing and Tesla. Look at Boeing now coming down under the lows. Well, that's crazy. I could have had a, a really good trading session, but sometimes you got to have a stop. You got to be stopped somewhere and you may be right about market direction. You may be right about the stock direction, but you got to have a stop loss because if you don't have a stop loss a day like this, if stocks would have continued moving higher like Boeing and Tesla, I could have had, I don't know how many tens of thousands in loss and I just can't take that risk. You know, sometimes when you trade, uh, you, you come to a point where you just have to respect your max daily loss. Recently, my max daily loss is a bit higher than it was earlier because now I'm kind of playing with tens of thousands per day. So that would be around my max loss per day. And if I would just let it go the wrong way, and if I, and of course I couldn't have known that the market will come down and both Tesla and Boeing could have continued higher. Look at here. Tesla looks like a good looked like a good long. It's up. It actually was actually uptrending here. You can't have one trading day which takes you out. What do I mean by that? Um, you may think about your trading account when I mention the following, because some of you have probably gone through this. I did as well. You know, sometimes you just do well for a long period of time. Sometimes you just uh, 
uh, do very well for a long period of time. Uh, just uh, getting po- to the point where you are uh, in green territory most of the time. And then comes one huge red day. Are you familiar with the day I'm talking about? Do you know which day I'm mentioning here right now? Did you go through this? Did you all go through this? I'd be surprised if all of you didn't go through that. I, I mean, I, I'm just telling you, I, I bet all of you went through this multiple times, Alexander. Yeah, well, I did too. I did too. You can't afford this huge red day. Yes, looking back at my results today, if I would have let it go over this max loss and I couldn't have been and and, and the market would have continued higher, which I couldn't have known, I would have reached this red day and then I would have I, I would have potentially needed to work back a few months to recover. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I was at a point where I was down $15,000. This could have ended down 30, 40, 50,000. I mean, just lose a, lose a zero. I don't care. I mean, think about yourself. Don't look at my numbers like 30,000. Oh my God. Like think in like 3,000. I mean, how long do you, does it take you to earn 3,000? Uh, and you just can't afford a 3,000 losing day because it could take you out. So just don't get to the point, never get to the point where you risk your, uh, your capital. If you do get to the point where you risk your capital, you just ruined your business. Trading is a business. You got to have capital to trade. Just like every other business, you need uh, uh, capital to buy uh, uh, goods or to do whatever. If you lose your capital, you can't continue with your business. Your capital is the most important part of your business. If you come to the point where you risk your capital on just one occasion, then sometimes you're lucky. Like today, I, I could have held and finished in green territory. But if the market would have continued higher, I could have come to the point. I mean, theoretically speaking, not me, but you know what I'm talking about. I could have been at that point where I could have lost I could have lost so much capital where I could have reached the game over point. Now, you, you just mentioned you've been there, many of you. Uh, and I bet, uh, and if you haven't been there, I'm sorry to say you're likely to get there. Just what I'm trying to say here again, please understand what I just said and stop yourself from getting to the point of no return. This could have been, for many of you, the point of no return. The day where you lose too much money to continue with this wonderful, amazing life as a trader. Potentially amazing life as a trader. Because if you get to the point where you lose your capital, you're out of the game. That's like in every business, that's in trading, and just don't get to that point. Please hold on. And, you know, again, I needed to move out. I needed to have a stop loss. I moved out. I'm looking at what's happening right now in the market. This could have finished in green territory, but I did the right thing. I did the right thing. And I should be okay with that. I'm not okay with losing $15,000 or more, but I'm I'm not feeling well with that. Of course not. And, but you know, that's part of the game and I need to take it, accept it and respect my max daily loss. Please respect your max daily loss. (laughs) <laughs> okay guys thank you very much for listening um, I needed that uh, listening part you are um, you are in the position of uh, being my shrink for today I need that with a $16,000 loss <laughs> so I need to take it off my chest thank you very much I'll see you all tomorrow bye traders thank you for watching our video the material was taken from the market whisperer my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200 page part one of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.